In recent years, many immigration reform attempts were made but most of them never concluded to a law and yet families continue to struggle to live day by day. While waiting the only best thing you could do is to wait for without worrying and one day the door will be open for you. On Monday, House Republicans unveiled comprehensive immigration legislation to address the related issues. This is a sudden feature of the questions to see how best we can help you out your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. House Republicans released sweeping immigration legislation on Monday that would tighten asylum eligibility, expand migrant family detention and crack down on the employment of undocumented workers. The comprehensive immigration legislation bill will be marked up by the House Judiciary Committee on Wednesday. However, given internal debate among the House Republican caucus regarding border security, the bill may still face obstacles to passage. It is also unlikely to get support in the Senate, which is controlled by Democrats. The committee's decision follows earlier postponements of a border security measure, and the most recent bill incorporates some of the deliberations that took place behind closed doors over the past few weeks. The comprehensive immigration legislation that would restrict who is eligible for asylum, increase the amount of time that migrant families are detained, and tighten restrictions on hiring undocumented employees. House Republicans, who have made border security a priority of their new majority, have responded legislatively to rising numbers of migration on the U.S.-Mexico border with the 137-page draft bill. Only a little portion of a border security bill filed by Texas Republican Rep. Chip Roy is used in the new legislation. Roy's bill was listed by House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, our law, in December as one of the ready-to-go pieces of legislation that would be brought up for a vote on the House floor in the first two weeks of 2023. However, as some House Republicans voiced worries that Roy's bill went too far in restricting asylum, consideration of it was delayed in January. The new measure incorporates Roy's bill's provisions, which provide the head of Homeland Security the power to exclude any foreign national from entering the country if the official determines it is necessary in order to achieve operational control over such border. However, Roy's plan does not contain wording that would prevent the government from letting in asylum applicants unless they can be imprisoned or sent back to Mexico. The most recent plan from the Judiciary Committee, which congressional insiders claim was previously debated as eight distinct legislation, was supposed to be unveiled last month. However, House Republican leaders requested that Jim Jordan of Ohio, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, postpone such markups until after the two-week April recess of the House. A complementary border security proposal is also anticipated from the House Homeland Security. Tennessee's Mark E. Green, the committee's chairman, announced in March that the border bill would be published in the middle of April. On Monday, a member of the Homeland Security Committee stated the bill would be published soon. Speaker Kevin McCarthy of California cannot lose more than four Republican votes, assuming full attendance and no Democratic support, for bills to pass on the floor with his narrow majority. The Judiciary Committee's bill, introduced by Reps. Tom McClintock of California and Andy Biggs of Arizona would revive several Trump-era programs to significantly limit asylum eligibility for migrants traveling to the U.S.-Mexico border. The bill would restrict eligibility for migrants who have traveled through another country en route to the U.S., and had not first attempted to seek protection in the other country, a policy reminiscent of the Trump administration's safe third-country agreements. Additionally, it would change a criteria that asylum authorities apply when determining a migrant's initial eligibility for asylum and compel migrants to request asylum at a designated port of entry rather than after crossing the border at any time. Additionally, the law would charge adults seeking asylum a $50 fee. Additionally, the Trump administration tried to impose an asylum fee, but the action was blocked in court. The bill would amend anti-trafficking legislation further to permit migrant children, who are currently only permitted to be held for a maximum of 20 days, to remain with their parents during their immigration court processes. Republicans also want to crack down on the Biden administration's use of an authority known as parole, which allows the federal government to give migrants temporary permission to live and work in the U.S. The bill states that parole should not be granted according to eligibility criteria describing an entire class of potential parole recipients. Parole has provided the legal authority for programs like the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA, as well as programs to help Ukrainians fleeing Russia's invasion. Beyond the border, 
The bill also takes aim at employers that hire undocumented immigrants, including by ramping up requirements for them to electronically verify that their employees have permission to work in the U.S. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!